Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This is part two of how to create your own custom design cookie. In part one, I showed you how to create your design. Now, I'll show you how to transform it into a cookie and place it in perspective. Picking up from where we left off, let's place all the layers that comprise our design into a folder. Scroll to the top layer and click on it to make it active. Scroll down to the bottom layer just above the background and shift click on it to highlight all the layers in between. Press Ctrl G on a PC or Command G on a Mac. We'll name the folder Cookie Design. Click off the eyeball of the background to hide it and go to Select and Color Range. Select Sample Colors and keep the fuzziness at 200. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is our foreground color, press Alt-Delete on a PC or Option-Delete on a Mac. Delete the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Hide the folder and make the background visible. Open the folder and Ctrl-Click or Command-Click on the black circle to make a selection of its shape. Close the folder and control click or command click on the new layer button to make a new layer below the active layer. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the empty layer. Click on the empty layer to make it active. Click on the foreground color box and type in 49403B. Click OK. Fill the layer with this color. Double click on it to open its layer styles. Click Pattern Overlay and click on the arrow next to the thumbnail. Click on the gear icon and choose Large List. Click Metallic Snakeskin and make the opacity 24% and the scale 45%. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Click on the top layer to make it active and reduce its fill to 0%. Double click on the thumbnail to open its layer styles. Click Bevel and Emboss and make the size 8 pixels. Click off Global Light and make the angle 151 degrees and the altitude 58 degrees. Make the glass contour cone inverted and click on Contour. Let's angle the cookie and the background to give them depth and dimension. Make the background active and make a copy. Drag the copy just above the cookie design folder. Shift click on the top layer to highlight all the layers in between and press Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac to open your transform tool. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out. Then press Enter or Return. Hide the background copy and the original background. Click on the top layer and press Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Hide the layer under it and make the background copy visible. Drag the brown layer and its layer mask just below the composite snapshot of the angled cookie. Hide the layer and make the cookie active. Make a copy of it and make the original cookie active. Double click on it to open its layer styles. We're going to make the cream filling under the cookie. Click on drop shadow and click on the color box. Pick white and make the blend mode normal. Make the opacity 40%, uncheck global light and make the angle 90 degrees. Make the distance 28 pixels and the size 4. It doesn't look like much now, but once we add the other layers and layer styles, it'll make sense. Make the top layer active and open your transform tool. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out just a little bit. Let's add an inner shadow to the bottom of the cookie. Double click on the layer and choose Inner Shadow. Click on the color box and type in 1A1817. Make the blend mode soft light and the opacity 100%. Click on the 
click off global light and make the angle minus 90 degrees. Make the distance 11 pixels, the choke 26% and the size 16. By adding the shadow the cookie now has some depth. Make the brown layer visible and active. Click on the foreground color. The color picker should still have our last numbers in the field. Click OK. Fill it with the color. Click off the chain link and make the layer mask active. Press your down arrow key until you see enough of the bottom cookie. Double click on effects. We're going to add an inner shadow to the bottom. Choose inner shadow and make the opacity 100%. Uncheck global light and make the angle minus 90 degrees. Make the distance 11 pixels and the size 10. We'll make a drop shadow of the cookie onto the background. Let's open up the layers panel. Hover your cursor between the bottom of the panel and the panels below it. When you see a double arrow, drag it down. Make a copy of the bottom cookie and make the original active. Double click on the effects and uncheck inner shadow. Click on drop shadow and make the opacity 60%, uncheck global light and make the angle 135 degrees. Make the distance 52 pixels and the size 16. Next, we're going to add an angled spotlight onto the image. Make the top layer active and make a composite snapshot. Go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. The Lighting Effects window will open. There are three types of lights, Point, Spot, and Infinite. For this image, I'll choose Spot. To see the spotlight, click on the eyeball next to Spotlight 1. Click on the outer ring's scale width point and rotate it around to the upper left corner. Hover your cursor directly over the inner ring until you see hot spot angle. Drag it out to widen it. Click on scale length and drag it out to widen the outer ring. To reposition both rings, click inside and move them. Continue to manipulate the spotlight until you're happy with its angle, position, size, length, and width. To increase or decrease its intensity, rotate the white portion of the widget. Then click OK. To brighten the face, go to the top cookie layer that's under the composite snapshot and drag above it. The last step is to make a drop shadow below the top layer. Double click Effects and choose Drop Shadow. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 75 degrees. Make the opacity 25%, the distance 7 pixels and the size 5. Now we have a subtle shadow cast from the cookie onto the cream filling. Have fun creating a cookie with your own design baked into it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.